Hi guys, welcome back. This is lesson number 28 from our Coral Draw training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to create this beautiful text mask effect with an image. As you can see that I have this uh, cute baby picture and this effect we apply on the text and you can see through the text this image appear but this side you can see that there is no more image background. Let's see how it's done. Let's move to the side this image here. Zoom tool and uh, zoom to page height. The first thing uh, we are going to import image. So I will go to the file, import and you can see that I have that uh, baby picture. I am going to import just like this I will place in my page. It's my daughter. Let's get started with her picture. We are going to create text now. Go to the text tool. You can see that I have your text cute baby. I am going to type here simply in capital letter. Okay, what we are going to do here, we are going to press enter key after each letter. So I just place my cursor here and press enter this way that's it now we have text here click on pick tool and we can align center and any font you want you can apply I have here some font I am going to use this font here in your computer any font you like you can apply for this effect but I will recommend you to apply some bold fonts so you can see the image properly inside the letters. Let's reduce the letter spacing we can use the shape tool from this arrow. I will just bring it back this way we will click on pick tool and let's resize now with the image size this way. Let's apply some light color okay gray color I have here we need to apply outline you can see that we have a white outline here so I will click on white color right click outline is applied and intentionally I bring closer these letters now letters are overlapping because I want to uh, explain you something now we are going to increase the outline size so while selected we'll go to the pen here double click outline pen dialog box is open and here we are going to increase our hairline size. I am going to add 8. Okay, the rest things okay. Here I want the position outside from the text and then click OK. As you can see now here, our outline, it is overlapping the text. So, how to bring back this outline? Once again, we will go back here, double click. And you can see that here we have option behind fill. Okay. So you need to check this once you will click this option here now the outline it will go back side of the fill so we have here gray fill you can see that outline is coming in the front once I will click OK you can see that this is how we get this nice effect little bit give distance in the font so the white line it will appear among individual letters so we'll use shape tool and from this small arrow headed down I will just bring it little bit down okay so that is fine and now we need to align from up and down so we'll go to the pick tool zoom this area we need to align with the image boundary this way and from down also I will align as long as the image disappear from the edge that is fine our text it's ready use arrow key to move the text so this much uh, area I want to get from the picture it is fine our location for the text is okay now the first thing I will do I will copy the image okay so select the image and press plus key from the keyboard now we have two copies if I will move you will see that this is the copy control Z undo now it is in the same place 
and I am going to clip this image, the front image inside the text. So this front image is selected. I will go to object, power clip, place inside frame. Our frame is text now. So I will bring my mouse inside this text and click. You can see that simply the image it goes inside this text but the other image that is the original image is still there. If I will move the text look at this it is like this. So undo I will bring it back. Now what we need to do here uh, we are going to create path we can use pen tool or bezier tool and this image we will clip inside that. So how to create shape we can use pen tool or bezier tool let's use bezier tool and this way we are going to create the shape so i will click i will follow the white area will not go in the image look at this this way i am selecting I will follow the white outline I just go behind the camera and uh, I draw because it's take time almost done now we are going to finish up and uh, now I am here in this point so I will continue from the outside we don't need to care the image here we can click anywhere and we can close it now here we have a shape I can show you look at this this what I created control Z undo to bring it back in the same place so simply what we need to do we need to intersect this image with this shape okay so if you will select this shape first and the second object you will select this image the image the picture will be clipped automatically inside the intersected part so let's see how it's done now our shape that we created is selected press shift key and select the image now the first selected object is this shape and then image I will click here intersect click outside simply bring it out this now we don't need this delete it and if I will click here and move it out look at this automatically the image is clipped inside intersected part control Z undo keep it in the same place and now this image the real image the original background we don't need we can delete it so you can see that now the last thing here we have a background and the background tune uh, we are not going to take from the color swatch we will use eyedropper so the first thing we will create rectangular shape with a page size so here is a rectangle tool double click once you will double click on rectangle coral draw will create rectangle with the page size right here we have if i want to fill color from the swatches i can click here but i want to match with the skin tune here so i will go to the eyedropper under the transparency tool we have eyedropper click on eyedropper tool and choose any color you want from the image let's say from the skin tone I want color so I will click my mouse pointer is loaded with that color you can see that the paint bucket is there I will bring my mouse here in this area where is my shape and I will click that color has been filled in this rectangular shape right click here to remove outline and that's all this how easily we apply this beautiful effect on the image I hope you enjoy this lesson try to practice guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload new video thank you